Hey, how you doing guys? This is Little Firehouse 102. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing all right. Yeah, guys, I'm uh, real uh, excited to do another video with you guys and share with you guys some wonderful uh, action figures here from uh, the cartoon line. We are going to uh, take them out and see what they are all about. And uh, let's see how they stack up next to the Origins line. <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, guys, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to collect the core figures on the cartoon line. I think they're pretty cool. Um, like I said, I don't dislike them. Um, they look really, really cool, and they look nice. Um, the car bag looks amazing on all of them. The artwork, um, you just can't, um, just can't say nothing wrong with the artwork. It's always really nice. So we're going to start off with uh, matted arms here. Okay. And... Uh, and we're gonna see his um, his other card right here. Let's just compare the cards, you know. So here's our origins, and here we have our cartoon line card with the new matted arms. They look really good together. Uh, we're gonna check out the back. See if we could scoot it back a little bit. See if we could check the artwork. There's the artwork, guys. Really, really cool. And um, there's a sow right there. Really, really cool stuff, guys. Put it back here. Really close up right there. Of uh, these, these uh, two cool action figures. And... Um, we're going to open them up right now. All right. <clears throat> Just take uh, the origins, origin men arms out of the way. So we could concentrate on this guy right here. Yeah. All right. Let's unpack this guy real quick. Here we have his, um, his comic book. Let's check it out right now. And we'll put his card back over here so we can, we can check it out with, with the video. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you got matted arms in the shell. Going to take them out right now. We're going to check out um, the, um, the comic here. And um, let's see what kind of storyline it has right. just probably read matter arms already he's been out for a little bit well mm -hmm. guys matter arms uh, comic book We're gonna put uh, the Origins Matter Arms here. The only thing that changes on this Matter Arms, I change his helmet, but that's about it. Nothing, not a drastic change there. All right, Matter Arms there for now. Let's take the accessories out. I'm gonna stand them up. All right, there you go. There's Matted Arms, thanks to his uh, counterpart Origins, Matted Arms. Really, really cool figures, guys. I mean, the, uh, the armor and the rest of this figure, they're all softer, uh, um, how could I say, um, detail, yeah, it's all softer, like the filmation, um, the Origins has a little bit more detail, but in the paint job, it's still kind of simple on the Origins, um, especially a Matter Arms, I, um, I don't know if you guys think that, but when I got Matter Arms, I thought he was really, really simple, um, even the, 
the palace guards were a little bit more armored than him and and um he had they had a little bit more um uh, a better paint deco yeah and um so he comes with his mace yeah a lot bigger than the origins mace and his uh freeze ray Here's the freeze ray to see him using it right here freezing that dragon all right let's try to put that freeze ray on his hand Gotta put his hands together and uh, have him holding it right here. There you go. That looks really, really good. Love the accessories that they're giving us and with the filmation or cartoon line. However you wanna say it, can't go wrong either way. So here we got both of them, Mad at Arms, like the stash. This guy has like a, like a reddish mustache. This guy has black mustache. Well, this is more accurate to his cartoon filmation. So yeah, gonna turn them around a little bit so you guys can check them out. He has a whole armor in the back. He has two, two armor pieces on his legs. This guy only has one. But we got him like that in the, uh, the vintage line. So, yeah. So, really cool. Really cool characters, the Filmation. I did start collecting them in the Super 7 line, but I only collected just a few. Um, I think only like four characters, and that was it. So, there we go. We got Mad at Arms right there. Really cool figure. Like I said, softer uh, detail on the armor on every on the uh, on the figure itself. All right, there's Mad at Arms. We'll put him right here with his his counterpart right here. This is Doppelganger. We're gonna continue with. Trapjaw, yeah. Really cool figure. I really like Trapjaw. You're gonna see his uh his origins card back. Right there guys. We got both figures. Just got a little bit more over here. We're going to turn the things. I don't want to knock uh, Mr. Matt at arms right there. Turn the cells, the cards. You guys can see the cells. <clears throat> and there's the artwork it has in the back of the card. Really cool stuff, guys. Can't go wrong with the, um, with the artwork on the, either one. go guys check them out all right let's uh take trap jaw out and see what he's all about really cool figure Meanwhile, we're gonna put our origin strap jaw right here. You guys can check him out. <clears throat> He's got his uh, comic book. And 
And we'll put his cart back over here in the back. I need to get a little bit more organized with my um with my space here. Here's a comic book for Trapjaw. The story. Okay. And here's the, some of the figures from the line. And we're still waiting for uh, Merman. I'm not gonna buy Tila, guys. I mean, I'm really happy with the Tila's I got. Um, with the Tila and Zor and my other Tila's, I think um, that's, that's good enough for me. Let's get this guy out of his shell. So he comes with two accessories, two weapons. blaster and this hook thing he did not come with that other weapon that our origins trap jaw came with I ran to strain strain him out his legs put, uh, put his um, weapon if you guys have trap jaw already I don't know if it's just mine but the weapon really really tight on this guy <clears throat> okay there we go guys both trap jaws right there really really cool I mean like I said cartoon line has really softer colors but you know what, guys? I'm gonna tell you guys something. The the, the face sculpt on this uh, cartoon line uh, trap jaw is, is much much better than the uh, origins line. I like it better. Uh, better. You guys could see that closer up right there. So yeah, I think uh, trap jaw has a better face sculpt on the uh, cartoon line one. So we got best of both worlds right here. Yeah. Let's turn these guys around. We can check them out. Really, really cool figures, guys. You guys are not going to be disappointed if you guys get these uh, cartoon figures. I mean, I know you guys have been collecting the origins. And you guys are really deep into that, but... Like I said, we can just collect the core figures and we'll be good. So yeah, that's Trap Jaw there. Really cool figure. Really, really good. I really enjoy it. All right, I'm gonna put these guys over here. Trap Jaw. Really cool. Really cool figure. All right, who's next? Stratus. Stratus is next. <laughs> All right. Stratus. Yeah. We've got the um the card back for Stratus in the Origins line. There we go, guys. Both figures. A full card back. And we're going to turn these guys around. And check out the, uh, the artwork and the figures that come with the, uh, 
with the figure. There's the sow for both of them and the artwork. Really cool artwork. Can't can't complain of none of, none of this artwork. Really, really cool stuff, guys. All right. Really, really awesome stuff, guys. All right, let's take this guy out of the way. Let's start uh, unpacking this guy and checking him out and see what he's all about. And uh, meanwhile, we'll put the uh, the origins one up here so you guys can check them out. There's our Stratus there, origin style. Here we got the comic book. Get get this guy out from the shell. Okay, we'll put this guy right here. This uh, hope we can see Skeletor there still. All right, so here we got Stratus in the shell. We're gonna get him out right now. And here's this comic book. Let's open it and see what's going on in there. Pause it if you like. All right, that's his comic book. Earliest power, yeah. The Wing Warrior Stratus. I've seen a lot of videos that um, they say that Stratus is a boring um, character. I think he's pretty cool. I mean, he flies. I mean, he got some pretty pretty cool detail on him. Straighten out his legs. Stand him up. All right. There we go. We got Stratus with the red wings. Um, on my origins, I put some extra wings. Um, this guy came with the uh, other uh, Stratus. Um, so I had an extra status. I just put more wings on him, more feathers. But his original color would be that uh, that light blue. <laughs> yeah. And uh, well, here we have Stratus with the red. Um, we got him with boots. Here we got got him with uh, I don't know. Looks like bare feet, but he has no toes. So yeah, so that's kind of weird. So, but that's how he came in the vintage line, and uh, this is his trident that he came with, the staff of power for the Wing Warrior. So that's pretty cool. I guess he came with uh, some kind of uh, accessory. All right, put him with his accessory. Um, on him, I gave him an axe and a sword just so he won't be so plain. But for the re review here, we're not gonna put it on. So, all right, Let's give him a little turn here. Take out their backpacks. So very, very similar um, figures here. I think they're very cool. Can't go wrong, guys, with the cartoon line. I think that it's, a, it's a very well-made uh, uh, action figure. Let's go check them out. Yeah, they're a little taller than the Origins Knight, but not by much, not by much. But yeah, I really enjoy these figures. Really, really cool. 
like I said, soft colors. The uh, details a lot softer. Doesn't have the hairy chest this guy does. So yeah, you know. So there we got Stratus guys. All right, guys. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying these reviews with these uh, cartoon characters and comparing them with our origins. This is very good for uh, beginners, so they can really see what they really want. They want the origins or the cartoon, or both. <laughs> really hard to get Stratos right now in the origins line, but nonetheless, he's uh, he's worth getting. So there you go, guys. Got Stratos. Give him a little turn right here. You guys can check him out. Really cool. Stratus. <laughs> there we go. And last and not least, but we got Skeletor right there. We gotta get Skeletor out and uh, see what Skeletor is all about. Yeah. But meanwhile, we'll put one of my Skeletors I have in the collection. And, um, yeah. No, wait, we gotta check out the card backs. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So here we got Skeletor from the cartoon line. And we gotta get our Skeletor from our Origins line. Yeah. There we go, guys. Skeletor from the Origins. I think it looks really, really good. And the top of the card, card art or, or Master Universe card. There we go. Really cool stuff, guys. Let's check out the back. You got Skeletor with various uh, figures that we're gonna get, or we already got. And Skeletor Origins and his Sal. And the artwork on the back of the card. I like the filmation artwork, very, very rich in the colors. Really, really like that a lot. Really, really awesome stuff, guys. Um, let's turn this back. Okay, one more thing, guys. I wanted you guys to see. I do have the Super 7 here on hand. Let's see if we have something to... Oh, man. This guy doesn't just stand by himself. Here's the Super 7. Side by side, Super 7 has a little bit more detail on the head, on the face, and uh, has a deeper blue, yeah. Let's check the back of the cards. Check the, uh, the artwork in the back. So the Super 7 has a more cartoony look. <laughs> more uh, softer colors on his artwork. One on the left is the uh, Super 7 one. I just wanted you guys to check that out. There's our Super 7. All right, well, let's get this guy out of the way. I'm gonna start opening this guy up. 
Yeah, see what Skeletor brings to the table. In the meantime, we'll just put out one of our Origins uh, Skeletor and put them here so we could compare them with our cartoon line character. And this the comic book is stuck on the box. Don't want to damage it. Well, yeah, that's no good. There we go. The comic. And here's the box. Right. Gonna take out the accessories real quick because it's falling out of the box. <laughs> Gonna show you guys the, uh, the comic here. Got some instructions there. There's a comic book for Skeletor, Wizards, Wizard, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> All right. There's a story. All right. There we go. The Skeletor. Yeah. All right. Let's get Skeletor out. Right there. That's what he looks in the shell. Get him out. Stand him up right now. Real quick here, you guys can check him out. Or well, you check out his uh his accessories. Yep. Okay, so here it goes. It comes with this staff. Really cool, just like the Super 7 staff, really similar. Okay. There's his sword. A light purple sword and it's come with these masks that that he there's the first mask and here's the other mask all right Put his accessories on to check him out. Smells him really good, really tight in his hand. There we go, guys. Skeletor. Evil Lord of Destruction. Yeah. So. This is one of my favorite head sculpts from the Origins line. You guys seen the, the packet, how he came originally. And there's his uh, the masks. Come over here. Stay. <laughs> so you got them together right there. Both Skeletors. They look amazing. Oh, come on, Skeletor. Don't fall down. All right, let's... All right, there we go. Let's give him a little turn here on both of them. Love the soft colors. I mean, it's really, really cool. Just like the filmation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Skeletor. He's probably shy shy because of the camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, ooh, I'm doing a big mess right here. All right, come on, guys. All right. All right. 
There we go. Well, we'll pick up the mess later. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. One more time, Skeletor, one more time. All right, there we go, guys. Skeletor, in all his glory. There we go, guys. Really cool figures, the cartoon line. I really, really recommend it. Put his Havoc staff on. Hope he doesn't fall again. Well, there we go, guys. The only thing that uh, um, from Skeletor here, he needs a, a little bit more deco on his face. He's, he's really, really simple. I mean, at least they should have put a little paint on his uh, teeth right there. So you can see that he has teeth. Well, he really looks good, guys. Evil Lord of Destruction. <laughs> I love Skeletor. Love this character a lot. So there you have it, guys. Here's the cartoon line. I think they look very, very good. Some amazing figures. You said you can't go wrong. And I'm just dropping everything here. All right, guys, so there are four figures that we got today in the mail. Really cool figures, guys. You won't be disappointed in um, when you guys put these in your collection if you're interested in getting the cartoon line. I'm gonna repack these guys. I'm not gonna, I don't really have room to display these guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, you won't be disappointed. They're really, really cool figures. And um, on the Turtles of Grayskull, um, I did a couple reviews already of, on, on Crank. Um, I think he looks, he's an amazing figure. Really, really cool. And, um, just cherry picking that line. There's some very cool figures on that line. Um, I'm gonna show you right now. If you, maybe you guys could see Frank right there in the back. I put him right next to the Horde Trooper there. So he looks pretty cool <laughs> right there. It's a pretty big figure there. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, this is all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review here with these figures. <laughs> I gotta get more organized here with this uh, with this turntable and my space here. I really don't got no more space. Um, <laughs> but it's all cool. It's it's all good though. But it's nice to uh, share with you guys these figures and and the these uh, and um, what I think about these figures. They're really really cool. I really recommend them, guys. So if you guys are on the fence, well. I think they're uh, really good, good, um, good additions to your collection. But like I said, I'm only collecting the core figures, and that's gonna be good enough for me. I don't know how far this fig, these, uh, this, this cartoon line is gonna go. But if it goes further down, I'm just gonna, like I said, just the core figures. And if there's something that I really, really like, then yeah, maybe we will just get uh, a figure here and there. 
um yeah all right guys um this is little powerhouse 102 and i'm out